Hi, my name's Beth. My friends at allfreeknitting.com asked me to make this video for you. So grab your needles, your yarn, and get ready to cast on. This is the long tail cast on and the type of yarn that you use and the size of your needles will determine the length of tail that you need in order to cast on the number of stitches that your pattern calls for. So you always want to make sure that you give yourself plenty of yarn to work with so you don't run out in the middle of casting on. All you want to do is take the tail end of your yarn and drape it over your thumb like this. The other end of the yarn goes over the index finger and you just want to hold the yarn in your hand like this. Take your needle and grab this yarn right here, pull it just a little bit, and then hold it in place with the index finger of your right hand. All you want to do is take the tip of your needle, slide it through the front of the loop that's on your thumb, and then take the yarn that's over your index finger and wrap it over top the needle and then pull it through the loop that's on your thumb and just let go of the loop that's on your thumb and give it a gentle pull so that the stitches are on your needle evenly. So it's just under the loop on your thumb, take the yarn that's over your index finger, wrap it over the top of the needle and pull it through the loop on your thumb. Let go and just give it a little gentle tug to make sure that the stitches are even. You don't want to pull too hard. So it's under, over, and through. Under, over, and through. And that is the long tail cast on. Um, one of the benefits of this cast on is that when you're done casting on you will already have a knitted row completed. So if you're working in stocking stitch the first row that you're going to knit is actually going to be a purl row because as you'll see when you finish casting on you're going to have a knitted row already completed. Another benefit of the long tail cast on is that it gives your edge a nice smooth finish and it's fairly uh, flexible also and it's very easy to do it's probably the most common cast on method that's used the long tail cast on